Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the best investing money management channel on YouTube. In today's video, we are going to be talking about, you guessed it, DWAC and PHUN. Now, over the past couple of days, we've seen a lot of volatility from this stock just because Trump Media is merging with this company to create the social platform called Truth. It's going to be a hybrid in between like a Facebook and a Twitter, and he's going to be offering pretty much uh, news and a whole bunch of other things, in my opinion, because he's getting blocked on a lot of social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. So he's like, hey, why don't I just create my own and no one can block me because I'm going to own it. So that's his overall idea behind it. And I think with 80 million votes behind him, if that's just say half of those people download this app, and I honestly think it's going to be a little more than half that, that download this app once it's out. He's going to make one, money, two, he's going to be able to share as much news and his opinion as he wants. So here's the idea behind it. So you can see right here, it has lows here at $9.95. So this was kind of right before this huge amount of buying pressure took took place. The stock went up pre-market a little bit to about $16. And then from there, it did not stop going all the way up here to 175. In a single day, right in this day, the stock went up about 350% and continued after hours in pre-market. It spiked up up to 175, sold off down to about $60, back up to about 120, sold back off to about 66, back up to about 109, back down to about 74. So you can see it's going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, but with a general downward trend in the short term. So if we actually look at it, if you if we draw it out from all the highs, you can see it makes this downward trend. The reason why this is, is because anytime a stock makes a massive move like this, it's going to sell off. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, because of one, people are going to be taking profits. Two, when, when a company spikes this up, spikes this much going up, there's a lot of emotion in the market. So people always have this fear of missing out, which is causing the stock to squeeze up even more, squeeze up even more, squeeze up even more. And what the exchange does is they actually, when a stock gets bought up too quick, they will actually pause pause the trading on it. You cannot buy, you cannot sell. So what this does is that one, it's going to try to help uh, preserve the retail investors capital because they understand that if you're investing into these higher volatility stocks, there's a good chance you could lose money because just as fast as this stock went up, you can see it went straight down. Um, so you can see that we have this downward trend. <clears throat> I honestly think that this trend's going to continue to a about ideally, I would love to see some support start stepping in at around 50 to about $20. Right in this zone, I feel like we're going to get some, some support stepping in, uh, start getting some buying pressure behind it. So the biggest question, should you buy this stock? I think that this DWAC and PHUN, PHUN is definitely way more of a higher risk because there's really no confirmed um, information that this is going to be the company that's going to be creating the mobile app. It's more just speculation right now. And, and yes, you could get in on it early or two, they could use somebody else and the stock will sell off. So I think for this one, it's better to wait. But on DWAC, a good solid strategy would be dollar cost averaging if you want shares of this. If you don't, don't even don't even look at it. You know, I, I always had this, you know, uh, divert. I always try to diversify my account as best as I can. So for me, I'm keeping this under like, you know, five to 1% of my portfolio. So what that means is every hundred dollars I have invested into just the general market or into other stocks or ETFs or whatever I'm investing in, I will take anywhere from $1 to $5 and put it into a higher risk investment. So what this does, and I'm really not putting all my eggs in one basket, and I'm going to be dollar cost averaging it. So whether the stock is going up or down, all I am doing is just averaging my share. So the the biggest question right now is, will this stock hit you know the these highs again? And honestly, I think it's going to take some time. I really believe that one, we have a lot of uh, people starting to sell this stock. I would love to see some news come out that that is what fuels these these massive moves. So good, good, uh, some good news to come out would be fantastic. But I think support for sure to like load up on some shares would be pretty much under forty dollars. Uh, 
for getting in on some solid prices. Not to mention just dollar cost average it. So if it turns around and goes up, that's fine because you're still going to be making money along the way. It's a fantastic strategy. For those of you that don't know what it is, it's a way to invest and you don't have to get in overvalued or undervalued. You're just consistent with your investments. So if that's just say you want to invest, that's just say $1,000 into DWAC. And instead of putting up $1,000 all up front, what you're going to do is you're going to spread it out into monthly, weekly increments of like $100. So you're still investing that total amount of $1,000, but it's spread out into you know 10 weeks or 10 months, whatever you choose. So when the whether the stock's going up in value like it does in here, you're still just averaging in, you're averaging in. And then the beauty of it is when it sells off like it did in here, you're averaging down your shares. So when the stock recovers, you make a lot more money. It's a fantastic, fantastic way to invest into these growth stocks, still carry some risk, um, not as much, but still a ton of upside. So guys, that's just kind of my overall opinion on it right now. I think we'll probably get a little more sell-off. That's the most likely scenario, um, but understand high risk, high reward, and you guys will be just fine. We will see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and stay safe. Take care.